Here's Robbie Swift Hand and the Orb of Mysteries. This is an indie game made by Nick Laren in 2008. Um, it's a platforming game. You play as Robbie Swift Hand. Yes, that is his name. Pretty funny because it kind of sounds like a porno name. It's like naming your character uh, Garcia Hotspur. Oh, oh wait. I think that's already been done actually. But anyways, here is Robbie Swift Hand. So you pretty much just start off in this little chamber area. Um, the game's divided into two parts, the Western Temple Wing and the Eastern Temple Wing. The basic premise of the game is to grab the ball, or the orb, and stick it in the slot. That's what she said. No, but uh, you just pretty much just grab the orb, uh, and you take it from where you found it, and you put it in the hole. And once you do, the door opens up and you can proceed to the next level. Pretty basic idea. Um, the controls are, are good. can be a little floaty at some times, but overall they're pretty good. Um, you can duck, jump, do a ducking jump, which gets you more height. You can hold down the throwing button to increase how, how, uh, how far you throw the orb. Fuck! You gotta watch out for stupid rocks, though. Look at this. I wasn't... I, I'm trapped now. You're not supposed to throw the orb in there until later. You see, you grab the orb, and once you have it in your hands, it activates these platforms, these yellow ones. Then you're able to jump on it, you see. But you can't get the throw it right there. Oh, fuck. Look. I dropped it in the hole now. Now I'm dead. I have to restart. Okay, let me just try to get it in right now. Come on. Get get in there, you bat. Fuck. Did it again. God damn it. <sighs> now I guess I have to restart, I guess. Just can't do anything. Fuck. Okay, let's try that. Damn it. Get in, get in the hole. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Finally. Okay, on to the next level. Gotta avoid this swing. Ah, fuck. You have to watch out for fucking spikes, too. Okay, these things are annoying. You have to throw the orb at them to get it to move. Pretty easy, you think, right? But, no. It's like the most, like, br it's pretty broken mechanic. I mean, like, sometimes it doesn't move at all. And sometimes it doesn't move enough. Sometimes it moves too far. Um, it depends on how hard you throw it and the angle you throw it at. Look, look the orb's stuck now, and I can't even do anything. I have to restart the level. And right here, it's like the same issue. You have to throw the orb again. Oh, wait, don't pick it up, don't pick it up. Oh, you dumbass, why'd you pick it up? But right here, you have to be extra careful. You have to throw it and get it in the hole. There, I got it right there. Next level, good. Beat the stage, it only took me under eight minutes. Now you gotta pick up the orb again, throw it in the big hole. Oh, now you get to move on to the next level. Part two, the Eastern Temple Wing. Um, now that I think about it, the, the music is pretty awesome in this game. Um, fuck, you have to dodge these stupid axes, it's ridiculous. Then right here you got spikes coming out of the ground, these like blade things that go up oh, right up your ass. Okay, let's try that again. Pick up the orb. Get on the platform first, then run, run your little ass off. Yeah, you have to like, you have to like friggin' like crouch to like save your life. It's like do or die. Throw the orb. Okay, no, no. Get down there. Get, get down there, you asshole. Don't fall on the spikes. Don't get hit. Keep going. Grab the ledge. Watch out for the swinging axe. Go, run, run. Okay. I got it. I got it. I just need, I need to get it in the hole without fucking up. I think I can do that. Okay, good. On to the next level. Okay, this part's kind of annoying. You see these like blue aqua stuff. They activate when you get near it, so you have to kind of throw the ball across from it to get it on the other side. Makes sense, but it can get kind of tricky, dicky. Right there. Oh fuck! See, I got too close. It bounces, the balls bounce all over the room, and you can't even do anything. You have to get at the right distance. Fuck. Now it went back there, and now I have to go back. God damn it. Come on, I just want to get it over there. 
Okay, there. There. Grab the ball. Get up. Okay, there we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. Yes. Okay, good. No, no, just need to go grab it. Okay, finally. Finally. Get up there. Crouch jump. There. Crouch jump again. No. Ledge. I think I have to throw the ball up there to get it to come down. Come on. Come on. Let's get it right there. Good. Get it in the right spot. Damn it. I just want to get it on that gray ledge over there. Okay, finally. Okay, now I just want to get it in the hole. Come on, get it. Get it. There I go. Okay, next level. Okay, this level was pissing me off. I mean, you to, first you have to avoid all these spikes by activating them first by proximity. And you have to avoid the friggin' blades coming out of the ground and the swinging axe. Come on, I'm almost there. I just gotta get the orb into that slot. Okay, activate, jump up, jump up. Um, come on. Come on. Fuck. Now I gotta retry. Avoid all the spikes again. Grab the orb again. Just gotta get over there. Come on now, come on, come on. I have a good feeling I'm gonna make it this time. Yeah, there we go. Hole in one. Okay, this part is pissing me off also because they got all these, like, spaces that become active and deactivate at certain points. It's really annoying. And you have to move this block down there to, in order to jump on that ledge up there to throw the orb in the hole. But of course, if you, this damn thing falls in the wrong spot, you're, you're fucking boned, like right here, like, look, I'm fucked, I'm, I'm completely, completely trapped now. <sighs> I guess I have to restart. I mean, it's a fun game, but like this, this friggin' box mechanic thing that they got going on right here, it's pretty finicky. I think they shouldn't have ironed out some of the bugs, but... Because this orb gets stuck way too easily. I mean, at least there's like a restart option, and you can restart from the nearest, uh nearest checkpoint, or else I'd be going completely pissed, especially if you had to like restart the entire level. That'd be like fucking brutal. But, but let's see if I can get this freaking box down there. Without too much, no, ah, oh, fuck. Now I'm trapped again. I can't even get down. <sighs> I gotta retry again, great. Just what I wanted. Let's try this box thing again, okay, I got it down. Come on, get the orb. Look at this, like... Stuck again. I just want to get that box down so I can move on to the next level. Come on. It's gotten stuck like five times already. I'm ready to move on. Okay, finally, there. Next level. Okay, I gotta jump over the app. Gotta watch the stupid bricks from falling. Fuck. Now I got all these friggin' blades... More blocks! Why more blocks? Now I got spikes and these friggin' blades trying to friggin' like decapitate my ass. Look, look, it hit my foot. It hit my foot. Come on, get down there. I just want to move on to the next level, beat this game. Okay, go. Ledge. Okay, go. Fuck, another fucking brick. Okay, let's try that again. Get up there and make sure you dodge, dodge, fuck. Got a little too antsy right there. Okay, one more time. Get up there and dodge the brick, but don't jump across the ledge. Come on. Okay. The, wait, yes, yeah, no, no. I had it. Right, no, damn it. Yeah. Yes, yes! 
Yes! I made it across. Man, that took me like forever. Okay, stage clear. I beat the game. I beat it. Yes. Yes. Oh my, look, look, something's happening. The, the orbs are going in. Oh my gosh, yes. The complete orb is mine. Temple Court, what? Okay, okay, this is the, oh. This, well done, okay. No, that's nice, well, okay. Yeah, well, of course you didn't expect me. I, 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 I deserve that. I don't. Okay, I guess I'll free you. That's great. I'm, I'm so happy for you. Okay, now you're climaxing or something. <laughs> hey, hey, no, no, yeah. That's right. Ha ha! Pull the old switcheroo, you bitch. That's right, I tricked you. How dare I? How dare you? Of course I doomed you. I'm a thief. I'm Robbie Swifthand, bitch. Pfft, you can't hold this. Oh, oh, fuck. Wall. Run, Robbie, run! Oh. Axe, of course. There's always axes. There always will be more. Okay, run, Robbie, run. Use your little. Get the jump, Robbie. Jump. More blades. Ah, oh, fuck. Damn it. Ass. Ah. Uh. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. No! <laughs> there. No. Damn it. Come on. Fuck. Why with the feet? Why does. Can't my legs get chopped off without dying? Okay, you need to listen to the music, it's pretty damn awesome. Is that pretty damn awesome or what? Gets you like adrenaline flowing, you know? With the wall, like, careening towards you, all these axes flying all over the place. There's the end, yes, get it, get it! Robbie has completed the game. He vanished. Okay, he vanished. Facing dangers he never faced before. Trying to survive inside the cursed place, he managed what every thief would try to do. Escape. But he didn't leave empty-handed. No, no, no. He took the most precious treasure. Months later, there had been reports about strange robberies which the police were unable to solve or explain. Rumor has it that as if the culprit appeared and disappeared without leaving a trace. That's Robbie Swift Hand for, me, for you. Fun little indie game. I definitely recommend it. It'll take you probably roughly an hour to beat, I guess. Especially when you die constantly and over and over again. But that is Robbie Swift Hand for you and the mysterious orb. Thank you for tuning in, but thanks mostly for playing, as Nick Laren would like to say. Damn it. You die. That pretty much sums up the entire game. Am I right? Of course I'm right.